A Sunday Scaries is taking on a new meaning after a recent study found you're more likely to have a heart attack on a Monday than any other day of the week. Joining me this morning to explain why this could happen is Dr. Majid Bassett, cardiologist with Memorial Hermann. Thank you so much for coming in on, uh, I know a lot of people are taking this Monday as their uh, 4th of July holiday, so we appreciate your time this morning. Well, thanks for having me, Zach. This is, this is a very interesting topic. People, it is. People don't necessarily think about Mondays as, as a bad day. People hate Mondays, but why? Why are more heart attacks happening on Monday? And you just have to think about the COVID pandemic when we were all shut down and staying at home. Mm -hmm. There was very few heart attacks. Why is that? Because people were having less stress. They're not having to do that commute. They didn't have to get up at a certain time in the morning. They were much more flexible. That, that's fascinating. It is very interesting to think about. Uh, let's talk about signs of a heart attack. What are those signs and do they look different uh, in, in different people? Men, so, women. So usually when, you have a, when you're having a heart attack, you feel like someone is sitting on your chest. A lot of pressure, you're maybe short of breath, maybe sweating, dizzy, fatigued. People that are elderly, diabetic, women may mm. not have those symptoms. They may, just, they may just feel fatigued. They may just be dizzy. They may feel uneasy. So if you don't feel good, it's mm -hmm. important to get help right away. I know somebody was recently saying, anything with a smell, like if you smell burnt toast, or is that Not just, so much. Not no. so much. No. No, okay. Uh, the difference between a heart attack and cardiac arrest, is there a difference? So a heart attack can lead to a cardiac arrest. So a heart attack is, is usually when you're, when you're awake, you're feeling something. When you're in cardiac arrest, that means that your heart is seizing. And, and that means that you're usually unconscious. So mm -hmm. when you get to that point, that's a very grave illness. So you should never have to get to that point. Right. It's, it's important to recognize Identifying those, those symptoms Absolutely. very early on to prevent that. Absolutely. Yeah. What are some ways to improve heart health? So it, it, it's very simple, but it's, it's harder to do because you have to create uh, you know, routines, mm -hmm. things that you do on a routine basis, just like you brush your teeth and you, you go take a shower. Mm. It's important to have good choices. And when you talk about meals, less saturated fat and cholesterol, uh, exercise on a regular basis. So you want to exercise at least 45 minutes a day. That's, that's, that's hard to do, yeah. but that's what your body needs. For people who might, it, it, can people be predisposed to uh, heart attack, to heart health? A absolutely. So if you're, if you're a diabetic, if you have family history of heart disease, mm. if you're a smoker, those are the three worst things that could, you could do to your body. Now, of course, you can't control your genetics, right. but, but, but you can definitely take care of yeah. your health and, and go to your doctor and get regular checkups. Yeah, that, that's really tough. And so even more of a reason to be on top of things. Yes. If that's something that you're having to do, uh, deal with. For more information, where can people go for heart health information? So you can go to the Memorial Hermann website, memorialhermann.org, and you can go to the American College of Cardiology website as well, and they have excellent information, American Heart Association as well. Dr. Bassett, thank you so much. Any